Hi, this is James Melendez, James, a wine guy, here to share this bottle with you today. It's Flora Springs 2007 Vintage Cabernet Sauvignon Napa Valley, 14.2% alcohol content. Really beautiful, simple, elegant label here. Um, love the logo. It's extremely elegant and, and very, very nice. And turn the back panel around here so you can see this. This is, um, it says, the, the Comus and Garvey family. So, this Flora is named in honor of the matriarch, and her name is Flora Comus. And this year is her 100th birthday. So she has this amazing legacy of this family that produces stellar Cabernet Sauvignon. So they do this one. This is one of their main production, Cabernet Sauvignon. They also do Trilogy, which is a Bordeaux blend minus a Cabernet Franc. And they do some phenomenal, you know, very small production Cabernet Sauvignons. So in some ways, when I taste this wine, for me, I've opened this up. I let it get a little oxygen. Didn't need a lot. It's still very lively in and uh, will be for a number of years, actually. What I like about this wine is that definitive quality that sometimes you can't put your, your finger on, which is, aha, uh -huh, this is Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. And I think the legacy that Napa Valley gives is it's, it's really the headquarters for American Cabernet Sauvignon and Sauvignon Blanc, which are actually related to each other. Uh, actually, um, the Cabernet Sauvignon is descending from the Sauvignon Blanc and the Cabernet Franc. But I think it's a really nice factoid. It's nice that, you know, it's also, this is really the definitive grape. So, in essence, many wineries are producing 100% or near that. Sometimes there's a 1% of maybe blending of uh, Petit Verdot or Cabernet Franc or Merlot or Malbec. Uh, or maybe a combination of the, the four other uh, Bordeaux varietals. So I think it's a fantastically quality wine. Now, the Trilogy is really nice. I've tasted through that. And also their small production Cabernet Sauvignons. And it really is that definitive Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. And it's picking up the terroirs from the specific vineyards that they are sourced from. So I'll take a little taste of this wine and tell you what it is like. Beautiful notes. And for me, that definitive quality, at least in my imagination, is that reduction of blueberry, blackberry, confit, uh, giving notes of vanilla, cardamom, allspice, and that scent of tarragon, thyme, and a bit of sweet cedar. Give this wine a 9.1 out of a 10.0 scale. For more reviews, please go to jameswineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and Flickr. And also, if you're in Napa Valley, Highway 29, it's centrally located. It is right near Dean and DeLuca in St. Helena, right across from Visa Tui. So you can visit the tasting room right on Highway 29. They also have a really nice patio upstairs to enjoy a bottle of wine with your friends and family. And also down the, the road a bit is the estate, which is a fun place to also visit. I haven't been there yet. I'm going to be there in October of 2011 and give that a tasting through and, and visit. So I'm really looking forward to that. Again, 9.1 of 10.0 scale. And uh, here we go. Salud.